So here I am inside Salesforce, and I'm looking at a report. But I want you to notice that this report includes personal information. And from a security perspective, I worry about data like this being misused. So to counter these threats, I created this transaction security policy. This policy prevents data leakage by looking for large report exports that contain more than a thousand records, and then it blocks those actions. But here's the deal. Security threats are always evolving, and no set of static security policies like this will catch every threat. So what do I do about that? Well, what if I could use machine learning to detect unknown security threats? This is why I want to show you a new feature called threat detection. So threat detection uses statistical and machine learning to automatically detect security threats like unusual report usage or session hijacking or credential stuffing. Let's look at a report usage event that was detected for Rob. Now on this event, I can see the ID of the report Rob was viewing. And I can also see how many records he was viewing. But notice it's less than a thousand, which means it wouldn't have triggered my static security policy. So the question is, why was this flagged? Well, one of the primary factors was the number of records Rob was viewing. It's less than a thousand, but it's still unusual based on his historic usage patterns, which makes this suspicious and something I should investigate. So let's perform some threat remediation and mark this event as suspicious. This will provide Salesforce with feedback that will be used to tune the algorithm that protects my data. But what other threats can threat detection detect? Well, here we're looking at credential stuffing attacks that threat detection detected. These attacks get blocked automatically, which is great. But I'd also like to be notified when these attacks are detected. So how do I configure that? Well, to do that, I'm going to return to transaction security policy. Now, we had previously seen this static security policy, but now what I want to do is show you a dynamic policy that reacts to the threats that threat detection discovers. So this policy right here subscribes to credential stuffing events. And when these attacks are discovered, I've configured this policy to immediately notify me. So now, with this policy in place, when a credential stuffing attack is detected, not only is it going to be blocked, but I'll get a notification informing me of the attack. And this is how threat detection enables me to use machine learning to detect and prevent unknown security threats.